Hey guys, today I'm talking about the Mom Cozy V1. This one is just very exciting because it has a lot of similarities to the LV Stride, which is insanely popular, but it is much more affordable. And I tried this one, and guys, I like it. I think it has a lot to offer, and I think it might be a great solution to some moms. So a couple of things that make this one special. One, the phalanges. They can hold a lot of milk. They say they go up to six ounces, but I think you can definitely get more. So they are safe for overproducers. This is a very strong pump, so if you need a lot of strength, you're going to be good here. It does have one motor, so that makes the cups super, super light. So most wearable pumps have the cups attached. Because these don't, these sit very light in the breast, and so that might be really nice for bigger chested women who don't want to be weighed down by a motor in their bra. I think that could be a huge plus. It's also nice because it has this one hub. You can be adjusting your modes, your levels, whatever, all at once, and not down your shirt. So you can, you know, have this hooked to something, have this in your purse, have this like hanging up your pants, whatever, and just without sticking your hand in your shirt, be adjusting your levels. With um, typical wearables, you have to, you know, open it up, do whatever, and you have to do that one at a time. So that's just kind of another plus. I will say that this pump is not the quietest. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you. So I'm going to put it against me because normally it's against you, but even then, this is not the quietest pump, so I would just keep that in mind when you are choosing a pump. I personally mainly use my wearable pumps for the hands-free freedom more than I do trying to subtly pump in public. If you are trying to subtly pump in public, I would just keep that in mind, but this, I mean, it's still great for what I would normally use these for, um, pumping at home pumping in the passenger seat of a car, pumping at work, and just getting to not have to undress. I think it's great. This pump does come with some extras that I'll just talk about real quick. It has a little bag and a big bag. It's really nice for carrying parts. You come with chargers. It came with extra duck bills. That's important after a certain amount of use. You definitely want to be replacing your duck bills. It came with 27 and 24 phalanges. Most women are not going to need the 27, and most women actually aren't going to need the 24. They're going to use the 24 and then use an insert, and it does come with inserts. These inserts are short, um, which is important because it has kind of a short shaft here. So your inserts from other pumps may not work with this pump. Use the inserts that it comes with. So we have a 17, we have a 21, and we have a 19. So most of you are going to be using one of these inserts. It does come with a measuring tool, and to use this, you're going to stimulate your nipple. So either rub it, hands express a little. You want it to look like it looks while you're nursing or pumping. And then... Um, Put your nipple in here to help figure out your size. You want your nipple sticking through, but not your areola. When you pump, you want your nipple to be going through and not your whole areola. You're going to have some pain if, if you're sucking in a bunch of your areola. Or if you're using too small of an insert and your nipple's hitting the side, you can have some discomfort. You definitely will. So I would definitely make sure you're using the right insert and keep in mind that you need to use their inserts because they're extra short. Let's talk assembly. So you're going to take your diaphragm right here and just place it in there. It just slides right in. Grab this top, put it in. Make sure, obviously, the hole is at the top. You can grab your duck bill, put it in here, and then you can grab your phalange. It is a double sealed phalange, which I love, very unlikely to leak but you do have to take care when you are putting it on. So just go all the way around, make sure the double seal is really on there good. If 
you don't have it on good and it's just like that, you're gonna leak milk. So really be careful when you put on that double seal. I really like how few parts it has. It's really just easy to maneuver. And then you're gonna take your tubing and it just slides on right there. Now to pump, you're gonna place these in your nursing bra. You really wanna be careful. Make sure that your nipple is completely in the middle. You can kind of roll it on or you can pancake your boob and place it on and then put your nursing bra up. But having your nipple completely in the middle is so important if it's hitting the sides. If it is hitting the phalange, you're not gonna get milk and it's gonna be really frustrating. So make sure that your nipple's in the middle. Then you can come to your pump, you can turn it on, you can press play, you can switch your modes by these two arrows. You can adjust your suction by the plus or the minus sign. You can pause it by pressing this play pause. It does have an auto shut off after 30 minutes, so if you're just not paying attention or something, it will shut off after 30 minutes. If for some reason you wanna keep pumping, then you can just turn it back on. The settings I prefer were massage mode at level six and then expression mode also at level six. It has nine different levels. If for some reason you want to single pump, you need to disconnect one of the tubes and then place it, that tube right in the center. This will stop that tube from suctioning and then you can single pump. It won't work if you don't do this and you just have them both connected and you try to single pump because the other pump has no suction if it's not connected to a boob. So this right pump won't work. So make sure if you need to single pump that you do this. Some tips, you do have pretty good movement with these, but I would not try to bend all the way over. You'll probably leak if you bend all the way over. So bend with your chest up and bend your knees if you need to pick anything up. If you're having any leaking, I would check that your double seal is on right. I would check that your diaphragm is on right and that your duck bill is on right. After a certain amount of use, you will have to switch to new duck bills. I find myself with wearable pumps. I need to add like an extra two minutes, three minutes of pump time when I'm using my wearables versus a traditional plug-in. A lot of women are like that. It just, it pumps a little different. To clean your pump, you're just gonna pop this part off and all of these parts can be taken apart and cleaned um, with hot soapy water or you can also boil them. I like to occasionally run them through the dishwasher on sanitized mode in a dishwasher bag. Do not try to clean this part, your tubing or your motor. If your tubing does get some liquid in it, I would just let your pump run for a few minutes and that would hopefully get the liquid out. I now just wanna do kind of a direct comparison to the LV Stride because I have it and I've used it too. Here's my LV Stride and I mean, they're just, they're very similar pumps. The, the Mom Cozy can hold more milk. The LV Stride goes up to five. Uh, you can probably get a little more. This one goes up to six and you can definitely get some more. So overproducers might have a better time with this. The LV Stride is quieter. So that's the sound of the LV Stride. The screen on the Mom Cozy is better. The screen will show you your mode, your battery, your level, and how long you've been pumping. For the Stride, you can do, you can see all that on the app, but you have to use the app for the motor here. It just has buttons, so you can, you know, turn it up and down and pause it and stuff, but not everyone loves to use an app for that, so that could be a plus or minus depending on what you're looking for. Strength-wise, I would say they're comparable. Um, what else? Part quality, my LVs have definitely lasted a while. I haven't had the Mom Cozy long enough to know, but the Mom Cozy seems good. If you have any specific comparison questions, feel free to let me know. All right, that will be it for my video. I hope it was helpful if you're considering this pump, if you have this pump and needed some tips, if you're deciding between it and the LV Stride, I hope it was helpful. 
If you have any specific questions, please leave them below. I love to chat in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. I would love if you subscribed if you have not already. I'm active on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook if you'd like to follow me there. I do have a Mom Cozy coupon code you are welcome to use. Check out my links in my description box. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one.